How's it going folks? Kent Howard, Green Mountain Defense. Out here today to review a little bit different product. This is the Ruger Gunsight Scout Rifle in 308. Wanted to do a review on a Scout Rifle for a couple reasons. Actually, um, not the Jaeger. Jaeger's been doing his, uh, you know, part one through five or whatever on the Scout concept. And uh, what can I say? It just, it just uh, scratched my itch. I've had this gun in the safe. It's been in the uh, family for just a little over two years now. Um, mine is the left-handed, short, non-stainless variant, um, which doesn't seem to be on Ruger's website anymore. Uh, you can still get the stainless. But uh, this gun holds a special place in my heart because it's killed my uh, first and only bear. I'll roll in footage of that. Um, did a trip to Nick Tall, New Brunswick, Canada. Came back with a 220-pound uh, black bear. So certainly, you know, I have actually seen this thing do its job in the field. Work great for me. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I like it. Uh, so for starters, detachable box magazines. Got the 5 and the 10-round variant here. These are nice, robust mags. Um, they are proprietary mags. I wish I wish Ruger would have used something already existing, like an AR-10 mag or something like that. But well, you know, they didn't, so we're left with what we're left with. Um, really easy to actuate maglin release. Overall length is very nice and short. The gun is light, has a 12 and a half inch length to pull in the shortest configuration, which is where I set it up. I've got the leather wood. Hilux 27 by 32 LER BDC scope on this gun. Um, it's a very, it's a long eye relief, small diameter, only 32, not 40. Um, great for that quick up close work, which is, you know, how I took that bear. I took him at, you know, 20 to 25 yards out of a tree stand, shooting down and away from myself, real in tight. Um, did the job well there does have that seven power so you can dial up and you can reach out and make longer range shots if you need to the scout concept is a big uh, a big thing or was here a couple years ago um, everybody talks about how Jeff Cooper set up the scout concept and it was supposed to be the every man's one and only rifle you know if I if it had to be I guess it could be for me obviously I you know I prefer my ARs or something else but you know you get a hard-hitting caliber in the 308 you get a short, handy, lightweight, compact setup. You get real easy use and maintenance on this, you know, Ruger bolt. Um, Ruger models their bolts after the uh, Mauser bolt action. So you got that. Gun ships with uh, peep sights right on it. Um, so it is usable right out of the box. I threw the scope on it right away, but you could use it if you had to. If anything, if you're out hunting somewhere and, the, and your scope went down, you would have a backup. Throw a sling on it and really, you know, it serves your needs. Here in Vermont where I hunt, you know, I'm, I'm going to be lucky if I take more than a 75 to 100 yard shot. That's going to be a long shot for me. Maybe the only time I might is if I'm reaching out across a cornfield or something. But uh, certainly it, it fits my needs. And notice I keep talking about hunting. Um, this to me, if, if I'm using this, in a, in a self-defense mechanism kind of a role. I, we've gone pretty far. Uh, things have gotten bad. Um, it's not part of my plan as a self-defense rifle, although it could be. And if you were that guy who wanted to have a, you wanted your hunting rifle to be just a little bit more geared for defensive purposes, just in case you had to use it that way, I could see, you know, a 10 round detachable box mag. Um, that gives you some capacity and the ability to carry extras on hand. So. I can see how that would be. Um, I'm really thrilled that Ruger puts out as many guns as they do in a left-handed bolt action. That's very important for me. What else can we say about it? You know, good trigger, good ergonomics. We're going to stand out here today and we're going to shoot it at 25 and at 50 yards because that's what I have available to me. Um, but what we're not going to do is we're not going to throw this thing on a bench rest and sit here and, you know, really keyhole in nice tight little groups off a bench because. That's not what this thing was designed to do. This thing was to be a field walking, hunting and shooting scout gun. 
So I ought to be able to stand here, which I can, and snap this gun up and put rounds on a silhouette at 25 yards, and I ought to be able to do the same thing at 50. So, you know, have it warmed up. You're going to see me shoot the first rounds that have been shot out of this rifle in a few months. But uh, one thing I am proud to say about this gun is that this isn't something I ran out, and, and this is just kind of a little off-topic pet peeve of mine, YouTube-wise and podcast-wise and other places. I've been seeing recently where guys are like, oh, I just picked up this water, water bottle eight seconds ago, and it's the world's greatest water bottle, let me tell you why. Uh, look, for me, I've owned and shot this gun for two solid years, have hunted with it, and have done so successfully. So if I tell you, hey, I think it's a good option for your hunting and outdoor uses, it's because I think it's a good option for mine, and I put my hard-earned cash down to uh, bring one home. So let's see how we do with it, and we'll come back and talk about it afterwards. All right, so we're all charged up. Got the five-rounder in first, ten-rounders loaded up. We're shooting federal ammo. I'm just going to go ahead and snap the gun up to my up to my face here see how it does for me get those scope caps out of the way not a bad first little shot Five rounds goes oh so fast. Right. That barrel nice and hot. Let's see how we did. All right, so as you can see, not terrible shooting. Nice and quick, 25 yards. That's a little silhouette. Um, you know, got to remember my optical offset and get that, get that a little higher. This gun is zeroed for, uh, you know, for hunting applications and so forth, but it does have, you know, there is an inch and a half height over bore offset or whatever it is. I'm certainly happy with that, especially for, you know, it's out of the safe, in my hands. There's the first group and uh, nice quick shooting. I'm going to go ahead, leave the camera down here and let you see him hit in real time. Well, there you go 25 yards 30 shots fired I uh, absolutely paid attention to get my aim higher up on that target um, again pretty happy with that given the fact that haven't really uh, I've really done much shooting with this gun here in uh, quite a while let's see what we do at 50 all right now we're looking to see what we can do 
out there at 50 yards. I'm gonna take my optic just up to just up to four power, you know? And this is what we have this variable power optic for. Obviously shooting at 50 yards it's gonna be nice to have just a little more clarity downrange. Alright, let's see how we do. One thing to note about this gun is a three position safety. You can have it all the way safe, no bolt throw. Half safe, which allows you to operate the bolt and then fire. So basically, you can still run the bolt without being able to fire around. A little something extra to know about. Sit down range and see how we did there. All right, as you can see, shooting fast and shooting at 50 has its disadvantages. Um, I have every round on the silhouette except for this one little guy right here who seems to have gone through the target stand. But you know, again, I haven't shot this gun in a while, and this little, you know, what is it, a 12 by 12 little silhouette? Every time standing offhand for 50 yards. That's not bad shoot, and that's why I like this light little gun. I'm going to be very direct with you. I can't do that with every bolt action rifle, but with this one I can. I'll let you see him hit the target real time at 50 now. Looking for 30 total. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. So there we go. We brought them up here. No doubt about it. Um, just kind of realizes I'm back there. I'm shooting a mixed bag of uh, 308 ammo. As it turns out, this gun is zeroed for 158, excuse me, 150 grain horn of the American whitetail load. And uh, I'm shooting a little bit of 170, a little 180, and some 150, but not, you know, American whitetail. I'm shooting some Perfecta. So. 
not bad results considering. All right, one of the knocks on a gun like this is that from up close and personal, this optic's hard to shoot. You know, a two power optic is hard to shoot. I find that the scout configuration is actually not that bad up close. So I'm right here at seven yards. It's about as close as I care to get. Let's see how I can do shooting a scout rifle up close. Not bad. You gotta remember your optic, but other than that, you're good. Now I will admit, it certainly is no AR up close, but it can be shot like this. Just like that. And we're making nice hits. We're really zeroing them in there. And when you see me messing with the safety, remember, I'm going from the whole way safe to mid safe. The actual safety is not disengaging until I'm up on the threat. Definitely making hits. Right about here to be precise. Okay, at this point, we got a little bit more ammo, so why not? All right, now we're gonna see, we've got one, two, three, four rounds in the quote unquote head area of this target. Last five rounds we brought with us, let's see if I can put all five of them in there at 25 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Through a, uh, what did we do? We threw one off. Should have been nine. Not bad shooting, though. Not bad at all. Let's take it back to bench. Talk it over. All right, so there you have it. Um, yeah, this gun hasn't. Matter of fact, it is uh, as I as I do this video. It's the what is it? It's the 24th of August, 2016. My bear hunt was in September of uh, 2015. 
shot this gun again before spring. You know, so this gun, the last time this gun was fired is May of 2016. So I have not touched a round off since May of 2016. Just a couple fresh observations after having not shot it for a while. Um, one, the polymer mag loads easier than the metal mag, um, for whatever that's worth. Two, um, I've been shooting a lot of stuff recently. I've been shooting AR-15s, I've been shooting pistols, I've been shooting shotgun, shooting, 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 shooting. And uh, recently I've been shooting a 20 gauge Mossberg tactical shotgun. Uh, you'll see a review coming on that here soon. Um, and I'm going to say that this recoil pad on this Ruger made the 308 give me less of a felt recoil impulse than that, uh, than that Mossberg 20 gauge, whatever that's worth. Um, you know, you saw I was able to put accurate rounds downrange on target. Um, definitely got some work to do to tighten things up from the from the standing offhand shots. That's all me. Um, if I was to put the round that this gun is zeroed in in the uh, in the mag, and sit here off the bench and shoot at 25 and shoot at 50, you'd see nice little groups and you'd see uh, you know the gun is properly zeroed. Um, but you know, hey, I got nothing to apologize for. I'm hitting 12 by 12 silhouettes at 25 and 50 yards offhand with a bolt action rifle. I am by no means a bolt action rifle tactician. I'm not here to, you know, if you're watching me wondering about my bolt rifle technique, pff, hey, um, it's something I'm learning and getting used to along with everybody else. So, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say that my my technique is absolutely perfect. I do try to stay down on the on the gun and not chuck my head up and you know kind of turkey neck as they say or whatever but I know I do it a little bit um, I do kind of have to come off the gun slightly still to run the bolt this bolt could use a dab or two with some frog lube uh, it'll get that tonight when it goes home um, but really doesn't hang up on me super bad um, you know there you go it's uh, it's not the cheapest gun in the world um, MSRP on these now is right around a thousand dollars uh, you can get a lot of gun for a thousand dollars. You can get a hell. You can get a 308 AR-10 if you really want one for a thousand dollars. So don't think I'm sitting here saying that this is the end all, be all. But for me, for a bolt action gun that with the five round mag is legal to hunt, just about any place I want to take it hunting. Um, you know, certainly I don't have anything to complain about. The optic, the Leatherwood High Lux, LER. You know, there's too damn many descriptors on that. Um, Leatherwood Scalscope 7x32. I think does a great job for me. You know, here we are. Another another thing that kind of gets knocked on this scope is the because it's only a 32 as opposed to a 40. You know, oh, it doesn't transmit as much light. You can't shoot as it's getting dark. Well, it is 7 o'clock, 7:05, and the sun is definitely down behind the big pit that we're in. Um, it's getting dark. I'm able to see both those targets just fine, so, you know, for whatever that's worth. For me, this is a great gun. It's the perfect, you know, do-all hunting rifle. Great for deer, great for bear. Um, hunting season's coming up here. Bear season starts next weekend. This bad boy's going to go in my gear. It's going to be kept in the truck. I'm going to be ready to bear hunt at a moment's notice. And... Uh, you know, hopefully it'll it'll put more meat in the freezer. Bear meat's good, by the way, if you haven't tried it. Um, what else to say about it? You know, for me, the, the length of pull is key. Um, I'm a big dude. I got, you know, a lot in my in my upper body and torso, and, and I need that I need that 12, 7, 5, 12 and a half length of pull. I cannot correctly shoot a 13 and a half or 14 length of pull. Not on a shotgun, not on a rifle. So. Other bolt rifles don't necessarily fit me so great. Not many companies make the left-handed variant of this quote-unquote scout rifle. There are others. There's Steyr, there's Mossberg, and there's Savage. All have a scout rifle variant out. I do believe Savage, I'm not certain of, but I know the Steyr and I know the Mossberg don't come in left-handed at all. Savage might have something in left hand. I'm not 100% certain, but... Uh, when I was searching for a left-handed scout rifle concept, this is what I found. Um, but the other guns have some neat features to them for certain. Um, if you're a right-handed shooter, you might want to consider some of them as well. 
you know, the Steyr's got the bipod. Um, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I'd ever use it. The Mossberg has the one thing that the Ruger doesn't have, and that's the common mag interchangeability. You know, either the, either the AR-10 mag or the, uh, well, the 5.5, five, you know, your everyday AR P mag in the other caliber in the 223.556 variant. That's huge. For me, I'm going to tell you right now, if Mossberg made a rifle as decent as this gun, as far as everything else, with those mags in left-handed bolt, you'd, you'd be watching a review on that gun right now. But uh, this is what I'm left with as a left-handed um, shooter. You know, it's a right-hander's world, so that is what it is. Um, I'll sip my water there. Guys, get out, please. Vote. Become a member of the NRA. Take somebody shooting. Now more than ever, we are, we are literally, literally facing 90 days away from potentially the end of yours and my gun rights. So please, vote. Take your friends out, register them to vote. Um, none of this, none of this uh, nonsense about voting for third party or whatever. Believe me, I'm no super duper Trump fanatic, but if you enjoy continuing to do this, and if you believe that firearms and your Second Amendment freedoms are your most important freedoms, right up there with your freedom of speech, then you've only got one choice. So uh, please get out there and get that done. Above all, stay trained, stay safe. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please check our Facebook, GreenMountainDefense.com, on uh, on the www World Wide Web there, at Green Mountain Defense on Facebook, and our YouTube channel is Green Mountain Defense. So please hit us up, become fans, tell us what you think. Something we're doing you don't like, say so. Sign up for classes. Spring training um, was nice. We had a, we had a good number of customers and clients out looking to get some people in here before the winter for the fall so if you're local or if you're not local hit me up and we'll do some training and if not with me god get out there and train there's so many awesome people around you um i don't care if you're in the northeast the southeast the west coast center of the country there's great training to be had and also while you're out doing the awesome things of being a good citizen of the firearms community throw a couple bucks towards the uh, efforts going on down there and Louisiana and the, you know the Gulf Coast they're really hurting down there they could use a few bucks check out the Red Cross for that and uh, yeah we'll see you next time thanks so much for tuning in